science now is becoming a, 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 an area of research where it's really multidisciplinary. Uh, and one person in a silo can't do what they need to do. So you need a, an environment and an atmosphere where uh, multiple people coming from multiple backgrounds can be brought into a single place and work together towards a, a common cause. So the, the genome, the new genome center, the new building is really going to help uh, to do that in bringing uh, larger groups of people from, from computational science to biology to biochemistry to, to, uh, to engineering. We have engineers in our group into one room, social scientists and actually address a question that cannot be answered uh, independently within the different groups. A lot of the work that Basin is the uh, center is in Concordia is to how to make use of renewable resources and turn them into products in, you know, or fuels or products or energy that we're currently using, we're relying on fossil uh, or non-renewable -renew sources. And so this allows us to build a center around the agricultural side, um, the environmental side of research. And that lets, you know, which actually, uh, this, you know, this is our impact. It will allow us a facility to put on programs for health prevention. It will also allow us to evaluate an, a number of uh, patient populations from cardiovascular disease to pulmonary disease and through cancer. It will also help us to rehabilitate these people once they have been diagnosed with the cancer and that they can then lead better and more productive lives. It is a multidisciplinary uh, health care service provider center that uh, offers all of these services under one roof. Uh, and this is what you do not see currently in Montreal. You definitely don't see it in the province of Quebec or nationally. This funding allows us to develop a new world-class uh, facility, a new lab that doesn't exist. It will enable us to fully simulate uh, the sun, so to create an artificial sun indoor, to recreate the outdoor weather conditions, so minus 30, let's say, or minus 20 plus clear sun, and plus 40 plus and clear sun, uh, and, and then uh, test and develop under those conditions new innovative solar systems integrated into buildings that can be used to develop uh, cost-effective and affordable zero-energy buildings.